Tar Hill. Right him, cowboy. <laughs> Get away and look. Oh, Carol, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, Lou, put your brand on that, will you? I sure will. On the level, Lou, where are you going? I told you right. Now, you don't expect us to swallow that red stuff, do you? Take it or leave it. I'm through with baseball. <laughs> oh, that's the ball player's annual theme song. You mean you're through until you get the salary you want? No, I got what I want. My sister and I bought a swell ranch in a peaceful valley. A hundred miles from a railroad. <laughs> <laughs> this is on the level. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Mr. Garrick, you better step on it. I'll bet your new suit of clothes you'll be in Florida for spring practice. Ah, oh, you wait let old season start. You'll miss the crowds and the cheering and the excitement. That's just what I want to get away from. I had all of that. I'm going to wallow in peace and quiet for the rest of my life. I'm going to hang up my spikes for a swell old pair of carpet slippers. Oh, <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Garrick, you're holding up the train. Okay, so long, gang. Oh, 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 Okay, Saunders, the Bar X and the Circle W are signed up. That's swell. Give them a couple of nice new emblems. What'd I tell you? They were holdouts until they found out they couldn't buy anything except through us. Beginning tomorrow, we'll raise the price of feed 50 cents a sack. Okay with me? You think they'll pay it? They'll have to. Ain't I your partner? Yes, but you think it'll set well with the old man? It's the way he wants it. Told me just before he took sick. Suppose they bring it in from the outside. I'd like to see anyone try it. Hi, Bascom. Howdy. I see you've joined the association. Not me. Then, uh, why did you get the feed? Hauled it in from Tuba City. I thought some of doing that myself. But I decided the Saunders wrecking crew was getting just a little too strong for me. You're taking quite a chance, ain't you? It's a free country, ain't it? Get out. Where'd you get that load? None of your business. Your boys are carrying things with a pretty high hand. Baskin was just in and wanted to swear out a complaint. If so, what did you tell him? Oh, I told him I'd make an arrest if he wanted me to. But it appeared to me that the ranchers around here were against bringing in supplies from the outside. I figured the best thing for him to do was to sign up. You gave them good advice, Sean. If there are any more arrests, I'll be running out of bail money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told you about my wife being sick. I gotta take her to the hospital for an operation. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, a little expensive. I'm kind of short. Again? <laughs> yeah, again. Well, you gotta do the right thing for the wife. How much will it take? Oh, 
I thought a thousand would give her the right kind of medical care and anything else she needs. Yeah, say a thousand. I'll see you through. Thanks. Everybody's sitting pretty. For they're gonna see the city when a cowboy goes to town. When a cowboy goes to town, you can bet your eye he's riding high when a cowboy goes to town. Lots of exercise is the good advice that I get from my physician. So I'm playing tag with a punching bag just to keep in high condition. Though I'm not a cattle ranger. Still at punching, I'm no stranger. When a cowboy goes to town, when a cowboy goes to town, to protect his rights, I'll be fit to fight when a cowboy goes to town. Like a gun galoot, I learn to shoot and improve my western science. So if troubles loom, I can go boom, boom, like my pistol toting client. <laughs> There will be no laughs and hooting. Do 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 do. When I start right in a shooting, when a cowboy goes to town, when a cowboy goes to town, he will find me quick on the draw and slick. When a cowboy goes to town, then he lopes away to a cabaret, for his pants plumb sag with dollars, and it's mighty clear how they disappear. The coins as he hoops and hollers. So his heels are high, it's funny. Now the low heels get his money when a cowboy goes to town. When a cowboy goes to town, city slickers grin as they rope him in. When a cowboy goes to town, then he starts home blue, and I do mean blue. Not a thin dime in his pocket. He sure is flat, and his satin hat stays in town 'cause he had to hock it. Do 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 boom 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 oh. He's sore as a branded heifer. Da 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 do 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 da da do. He's clean as a prairie zephyr when a cowboy goes to town, and he turns it upside down. For a legal fee, he can count on me. If he goes to jail, I can go his bail. I can square a beef, for I know the chief. Oh, the law is kind to a legal mind. As a lawyer should, I can do him good. For my uncle Fudge is the district judge. So it's plain to see he should retain me when a cowboy goes to town. Hello, Larry. Oh, hello, Batson. Sit down. Looks like they've been roughing you up a bit. What happened? Uh, they smashed up my wagon and drove off my team. All right. We'll swear out a couple of warrants. Just a minute. That wouldn't help now. I've been thinking this thing over, Larry, and I. Uh, well, there's no use kidding myself. I know when I'm licked. Here's one of Saunders' new contracts. You mind looking it over? I've read dozens of them. They're all the same. But you better look it over, and you better think it over. You see this? Two thousand dollars entrance fee. You pay a dollar a head on your stock. You have about two thousand head, haven't you? About. You've got to buy everything through their store. They arrange for the sale of your cattle, for which they charge you 10%. Then they dig in a little deeper and nick you for 20% of your profit. How does that appeal to you? Well, I... Why is it none of you ranchers have backbone enough to fight? Look, give me one rancher with nerve enough to stick, and I'll bust this thing wide open. I'm sorry, Larry, but you'll have to count me up. Good morning, Miss Gary. I'll have a couple of wagons around here this afternoon to pick that hay up, Mrs. Johnson. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Gary. I'm afraid I won't be able to do anything for you. You mean to say we won't be able to buy hay? Not unless you join the association. What about that, Pop? You can't do that to us. That's right, we can't. But we're doing it. I don't want to tell you folks your business. 
But if I were you, Miss Gehrig, I'd join up. Gee, I don't know what to do. Why don't you wait till your brother gets out here? Boy, what a ranch. I'm glad you like it, Bruce. Just what I've been waiting for. A place where I can loaf around and take it easy. All right, Miss Gary. Well, you don't have to tell me who this is. I'd know you anyway after your picture. How are you, Lou? Hi. This is Mr. Saunders. Well, glad to know you. I've been looking forward to meeting you. I want to make you a member of our association. That's swell. I joined pretty near everything there is. This is no paternal organization. No? That's right, Miss Gary. It's a protective association. <laughs> what do you protect us from, Indians? <laughs> <laughs> well, rustling for one thing. Do they still do that out here? Oh, yes, it's going on. We keep uniform prices, we market your cattle. And That's we... just the trouble, Lou. In other words, they take over the ranch and allow us a percentage of the profit. <laughs> Sounds like you got something there, Bart. I'll send you out a contract. Don't bother. How about it? No, I don't think we'd be interested. You're making a mistake, Lou. Everybody did. You don't want to be a holdout, do you? <laughs> well, I've been a holdout before. You'd better think it over. You're not in New York now. No? For a minute, I thought I was. How about excusing this old man? Come on, Fed. make out with Gary. Smart cracker. Thinks he's tough. Say, where'd they get that fence wire they're putting up out there? Search me. They didn't get it through us. How are we going to keep up the standard of prices if they bootleg things in from the outside? It ain't fair to the stores here. How are we going to protect home industry? I want that Gary Ranch in. Take care of it. In the usual way? Any way you like. But they got to join. How do you put these spikes on? Strap them. That for me? Uh-huh. How does he look to you? Never mind me. You ask him how I look to him. <laughs> right, I ought to fool him with this outfit, huh, Pop? Sure, you look like a real cowpoke. You get on from this side. Ooh. Just walk right up to him like he wasn't afraid. <laughs> I couldn't be that deceitful. Oh, go on, Lou. Ooh, boy. I never saw that horse do that before. Yeah? Well, let me see you ride him. Sure.
Is that the same horse? Yep. Gentle as a kitten. Well, if you can ride him, I can. Seems like an awful rough road, Pop. Don't you think you ought to go a bit slower? Think I'll get off and walk a ways, Pop. You know, give the horse a rest. Good idea. Some of Saunders hoodlums cutting our wire. You mean to say? Hey, Gil, we got company. Get out of here. Yeah, who says so? You heard what I said. Go on now. Get. <laughs> How do you like that? Right away it gets tough. You tell Derek where to buy his wire after this. Where'd they get you, Pop? It ain't nothing, Mr. Gehrig. Just trying to nick my shoulder. Are you sure those were Saunders' men? Dead certain. They're trying to force us in. What kind of a country is this, anyway? Looks like they're concentrating on us. Yeah? Well, we'll see about that. Come on, Pop. On your feet. get wise to yourself. You're not doing enough business to pay for your laundry. I do it myself. Listen, Gimble. You've got brains, but you don't use them. You're just like a guy trying to swim upstream. You never get no place. He will if he keeps on swimming. Why well, do it the hard way? Don't be a chump. Why don't you take my proposition? Be our attorney. Thousand a year. There's an old saying, Saunders. If you lie down with dogs, you get up with fleas. I know another old saying. If you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. You keep on trying to throw a monkey wrench into me, and you're gonna wind up right there, behind the eight ball. If I do, you'll have to move over. shot a while ago. No. That's tough. Is he hurt bad? Do you know who did it? Who do you think you're kidding? It was the three mugs you sent out to pull down my fence. Oh, wait a minute, Lou. That's the kind of stuff I'm trying to stop. Now, if you'll come in with us, we'll... Well, we're not going in with you. And remember, this strong arm stuff don't go with me. Don't blame you, Lou. And if you'll tell me who the guy is, I'll help you put him in jail. That's fair enough, isn't it? Well, we'll see about that. Here's one of them now. Come here, you rat. Who are you calling a rat? Why, 
Wait, wait a minute. Take it easy, Gary. It couldn't have been him. He hasn't been out of town all day, has he, boy? No, he hadn't. I get it. Why don't you take a look at his gun? See if it's been fired. Thanks. I'll do that. Let me see that gun. Mr. Uh, Kimball, Larry Kimball. You're Lou Gehrig, aren't you? Yeah. How do you do? Glad to know you. I see you can fight as well as you play baseball. Yeah. Let's get out of here. So you're a lawyer, huh? Well, by gosh, I'm retaining you right now. Not unless you're willing to stick it through. Stick it through? Why, buddy, I'm old man Stick himself. Then I'm your man. Well, why, this will be more fun than the World Series. <laughs> Let's go out to the ranch and have dinner. We'll talk this thing over. All right. If I get that guy, Gary, give it the last thing I ever do. You want to be sure there aren't any pool balls around. Where does that smart lawyer get all buttoned in? He needs a good tossing around. That's what he's going to get. He's got a client, eh? Let's see about that. Tell me, how did Saunders get in control? McDonald took a trip to Chicago and met up with Saunders. You know, it's always been a mystery to me what McDonald saw in him. The old man's a straight shooter. That Saunders is a smooth talker. I'll say he is. Well, maybe that's it. Anyhow, when the old man took sick, Saunders stepped right in. Reported a lot of Eastern gunmen, and there you are. Well, why doesn't somebody talk to McDonald? But you can't get to him. The doctor says he can't be disturbed. What I'd like to know is, why haven't the authorities stepped in? Well, their attitude is that if the majority of the ranchers want the association, then it must be all right. In that case, it does look rather hopeless, doesn't it? Well, Larry doesn't think so. I know. But what are we going to do about winter feed for the cattle? We're running low. We can't buy any in town. They won't sell it to us. How do you get around that one, Counselor? Go to Tuba City and haul it in. If it's all right with you folks, we'll pull out of here the first thing in the morning. That's good enough for me. In that case, I better be getting back to town so we can all be ready for an early start. All right, I'll drive you in. Never mind that, just lend me a horse and I'll save you the trip. Okay, swell. Thanks for the nice dinner, Miss Gary. Oh, Peggy to you, Mr. Kimball. All right, Peggy. Good night. Good night. I don't like being cooped up here all the time. Can't help worrying. But everything's gonna be swell. All you've got to worry about is getting better. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he doesn't need me anymore. I think I'll be getting back to Chicago. I've got some legal matters to attend to. I wish you'd send Larry Kimball out to see me. Oh, didn't I tell you? Kimball's left town. He's gonna locate in Denver. No. Oh, that's too bad. I can't.
can't understand why some of my old friends haven't been out to see me. Well, I don't want to tire you any more tonight, Mr. Back. I'm going to be getting back on the job. See you next week sometime. Good night. Good night. What do you mean by that Chicago crack? I need you here. Well, there's nothing I can do. He may drag along this way for years. What are you gonna do in Chicago? You can't practice anymore. What's that dope you've been feeding him? Six drops. Doesn't seem like very much. Charge. Forcible entry. Burglary. Assault and battery. Attempted mayhem. Wanton destruction of private property. Ah, where do you get that stuff? These boys wouldn't harm a fly, Sheriff. Besides, they're friends of mine. Those are serious charges, Butch. All right. How much is their bail? Fifty dollars apiece. You mean to tell me you're going to let these men out? Well, the law says they're entitled to bail. You're a lawyer, you ought to know that. All right, forget it. Drop the charges, Sheriff. Well, now you're getting smart. Take a message to Saunders for me, will you? Sure. What is it? Tell him I'm not going to wait on any hokey pokey sheriff to clean up this situation. What's that? Tell Saunders I'm going to like the way he's playing this game. Good night. Shut my mouth, it's yours. Hey, 
Lost plenty of men. All right, we'll split them up. You're late for that first wagon. We'll take the second one. Come on. As you go. Get on off that wagon. Swing those leaders. What's wrong, Larry? I don't see the other wagon. You go ahead, I'll find out. All right, then, let's get that wagon out of there. And to think I come out here for peace and quiet. Hey, Lou. Yeah, a lot of good that'll do us. Take a look at that sign, Saunders Place. I've got an idea. It's a thousand to one shot, but sometimes they come through. Follow me. Come on, boys. loads of hay. Oh, well, you'll have to get that from the hay depot in town. This is Mr. Saunders' private stock. Oh, it's just an exchange. You got an order? Well, what for? You know what Saunders said. The rancher joins the association, he can have all the hay he wants. Oh, you joined up, huh, Lou? That's swell. I guess you're gonna find throwing hay a lot different than throwing a baseball, huh, Lou? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I tell you what I'll do, Fuller. I'll bet you a new hat my men can load up faster than yours. That's a bet. Get your wagons up. Come on, yeah. boys. You all ready, fella? Yeah, all set. All right. One, two, three, go! is an easy life, he never has a dime. He doesn't even worry, cause he hasn't got the time. He rides the trail through wind and gale, he comes from hardy stock. 
His heart is in his labor and his Ingersoll's in hot. Oh, a cowboy's life is an easy life. You bet your boots and spurs. And if you like a cowboy's life, well, stand my heart is yours. And if you like a cowboy's life, well, stand my heart is yours. Hey, what are we worrying about the Gehrig Ranch for? We'll have the dough in from the sale of the association cattle any day now. Why don't we take it and scram? Let that string bean put one over on me. The boss is right. They're certainly giving you the laugh around town about that hay gag. Ah, oh, shut up. Well, there ain't no use kidding ourselves, Ed. They're getting plenty cocky. When I came by the Gehrig Ranch a while ago, they was having a big time singing and laughing. Who's out there? All of them, I guess. I mean, all of them that ain't in with us. And maybe a few more. I'd like to tie those guys up in a knot. Well, where does Gehrig get his water supply? What? The McDonald Ranch, ain't it? Yeah. Suppose we divert the water. Sure. Why didn't you dip me off to that before? Boy, I'd like to see that smart lawyer figure his way out of this one. <laughs> to hear you sing. Oh, come on, come on. All right, but, but remember, you brought it on yourself. That I've been riding wide and far with my guitar, like a troubadour of long ago. But from the start, we're apart. My lonely heart has missed you so. Drifting like a cloud in stormy weather. Drifting and dreaming of you. Of you, dear. Of you, dear. Drifting to the tune of saddle. Be together, I'll wander all life through, just drifting and blue, drifting like a sound of stormy weather, drifting and dreaming of you. I'm 
And if we can't be together, I'll wander all life through just drifting and blue. Not my conception of a lawyer at all. Have I destroyed an illusion? Mm-hmm. You know, I'd always pictured lawyers as fussy old men that always wore glasses and kept clearing their throats like this. <coughs> I object, Your Honor. I object. I object. I'm sorry. I'm such a disappointment. But I didn't say you were a disappointment. Mm-mm. As a matter of fact, you're a very pleasant surprise. <laughs> Gee, this is some fun. Having a good time, Larry? You bet I am. You know, there's nothing like a good old barbecue. We've had a lot of them down in Florida. Oh, by the way, the boys are going to be starting for spring training pretty soon. Uh-uh. I thought you were through with baseball. Well, I am, but there's no harm in talking about it, is there? Oh, no. on the east side of the dam. Yippee! I thought they'd be in by this time to sign up. You got something bigger than that to worry about. What's that? You read this wire from the packing company in Chicago. Don't they take the cattle? Sure. But as long as McDonald's around, they don't want to turn the dough over to you. Suppose he wasn't around. Yeah, but he is. If the old guy had done the decent thing, he'd have kicked off like he was supposed to. Been dying for three months. It wouldn't surprise nobody if he turned up his toes now. Why don't we give him a shove? The doc could make it easy if you give him a big swig of that medicine. But he's one of those guys with scruples. I made a mistake. Well, what do you do when you make a mistake? Correct it, don't you? Oh, listen, Miss Peggy, it's time we had a showdown. But if he does turn the water on, Saunders will just shut it off again. That ain't gonna stop Larry Kimball. He'll keep going till he gets Saunders. But suppose Saunders gets him. If we join the association, there'll be nothing more for Larry to fight about, will there? Of course not, but that'd just gum things up for Larry. It's better than having him killed. Pop, you bring them back here. I'm going in and sign up. The boys are all ready, Pop. Ah, the balloon's busted now. Wait till I tell Larry. Where's the gang? There ain't no gang. There ain't no showdown. There ain't no nothing. What are you talking about? That sister of yours put the kibosh on her. She's going into town to sign up. What? You're kidding. I wish I was. Why don't we try to talk to McDonald? You can't get in. Lou, you get to town and stop pegging. I'm going to see McDonald if I have to break in. Right. Come on, Pop. You take it from me, your brother's doing the sensible thing. My brother doesn't know anything about it. I'm doing this to prevent any further trouble. I've got to have his signature. Oh, no, you don't. I have a half interest in the ranch. 
It's a partner I have a right to sign. Well, that's different. Won't you sit down? It'll just take a moment to draw up the contract. Take out a contract for the Gary Ranch right away. Right. Well, that brother of hers is going to holler murder when he hears about this. Let him holler. We'll have the contract. Go out and take care of McDonald. Don't let Gary and the old man upstairs, you understand? Sure. Where do you think you're going? I want to see Saunders. He's not in. Just for fun, I'll take a look. You heard what I said. I'll beat it. Take your hand off that gun, Pop. Get on those horses and disappear. end of it all right, but how are we going to get in? Now then, if you'll step right over here and sign this. Right there. Say, ain't you Lou Gehrig? Why, well, sure. Hey, fellas, look who's here. Lou Gehrig. Say, is there a back entrance to Saunders' office? Saunders' office up there, isn't it? I'll say it is. He put a fall through his window one day, and you ought to hear him holler. Yeah? Give me that bat. You want to play, Lou? Why, sure. Why not? Sign up first? Not now. I've got to see what Lou wants. Oh, hiya, Butch. Where's the doctor? I'm up here. Come on down here a minute, will you, Doc? I want to see you. Crazy doing a thing like that. No, but you are. You're not going to stop anything by signing that contract. Never mind the contract. What about Larry? He's out at the McDonald Ranch, and that's where we're going. Nothing doing. I don't want any part of it. You better think it over, Doc. You can make it look on the level, and there'll be a nice chunk of dough in it. No, sir, I've had enough of this case. Okay. Well, hello, Mr. 
Mac. What was that shot? Shot? Yes. Oh, one of the boys who took a crack at a rabbit. Oh. Where's Saunders? Well, he's tied up in town. He asked me to come out and see if there was anything I could do for you. Oh, there's nothing. Well, can I get you something? Uh, how about a glass of milk? All right. Thanks. Sure. It sounded like it come from up there. You better take a look around. Kimmel got to old man McDonald and they've shot Butch. From what you tell me, Saunders can take every dollar from the sale of the cattle. I'm afraid so. But we can't let that happen. Oh, if I could only get out. Don't worry, Mr. McDonald. We'll take care of you. I'm going to round up every ranch in this county and drive Saunders and his gang of hoodlums plumb out of the state. <laughs> Town. Round up the boys. Greg, clean out the safe. All of you meet me at the bank. Come on, step on. Never come back. What's going on here? We're going to get Saunders. Why, he just left town. Let's go, man. Come on.
I'm the sheriff. They can't do this to me. That's right, they can. But they're doing it. You know, sis, this is the way I've always pictured it. Nice and quiet, peaceful, no excitement, no crowd. Seems to me, Larry, you're going to have your hands full taking care of Mr. McDonald's ranch and this place. And managing the association. And you. Oh, Lou. Lou! I'm a grand for you. Read it. I did. Do you mind telling the guy? Mr. Lou Gellig, Rawhide. Your terms acceptable. Stop. Report at once for spring training. Boy, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Larry. 